I suppose I started when I was just young enough, I suppose maybe eight, eight or nine, I'd say. Um, a few lads in my class in school were playing and uh, they were just like, oh, do you want to come in? So I decided to go in and play and I, I loved it then when I went in and I've kind of been playing since. It was my club growing, or it was my club when I was growing up and, uh, you know, they were good to me, all right. And um, I really enjoyed playing rugby there. And it's, it's a great club, so definitely delighted they won that award as well. Um, and just, just delighted I could play my rugby there when I was younger. So I started uh, with the cadets, I think it was about maybe under 15 or 16 maybe. And then um, it went like southwest, so it would have been like, say, just West Cork. Then it would have been Cork. And then eventually under 18, it merges to full on Munster and is a Munster and Radian clubs team. So I would have played on that. Um, and then obviously I would have played under 19 with uh, Munster as well. And then I was in the sub academy then after that. My club's UCC now at the moment, my AL club, and uh, started playing with them and uh, got on all right. And I was then in the sub academy at Munster for uh, two years. And um, I played Irish under 20s um, two years ago as well. And then obviously that uh, that went well enough for me and I got offered a place in the full academy last <clears throat> last year. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Definitely up there the highlights of my rugby career so far anyway. Um, Irish Independent Park was class anytime we played there against, especially the first day against England. It was probably my first day of having a crowd at a match, a big crowd like, and obviously being on TV and stuff, it was, it was a great occasion. And yeah, it helped a lot to be fair. Um, first year I was there, we were 1B, but we got promoted to 1A. So obviously playing 1A rugby is, is a high, very high standard as well. And obviously that got me used to physicality. Um, also, like Brian Walsh is a great coach on UCC and he helped me a lot. Um, I thought he was very good. Making my debut down in Cork as well, which was great. Like, I'm in, I'm in, I live there and I'm in college there as well. So, you know, make my debut there and, and obviously playing well enough. Um, I was delighted, like, and it was, I was delighted with it. Like, and again, I, I love playing Ocean in the Park. Like, it was, it was nice. Getting a few uh, more. Uh, a bit more game time, sorry, in the Pro 14 has been class, um, especially playing against good teams like Cardiff uh, and Dragons and Edinburgh, all right, like um, the last couple of weeks, you know, it's really feel like I've improved a good bit and um, it's obviously just great to play for Munster, so I was really happy with it all. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I suppose the first couple of weeks, it would be a bit nerve wracking, all right, I remember last year, like, because obviously there's a lot of big names in Munster and... and I suppose they're fellas you kind of looked up to only a couple of years ago and next thing you're in training with them. So definitely it took me a while to get onto my feet, but uh, getting to know everyone now, everyone's so sound and, you know, it's a really good environment. I've got four horses, but I uh, thought it'd be kind of funny if I just got a photo on her. So uh, she just kind of took a photo when I was on her and uh, I'm not really sure. I kind of few, I sent it to a few of my friends and I thought it was hilarious. So um, <laughs> just kind of put it in my story. And then um, a couple of weeks ago, you know, my parents sent in the sent in a photo of my two horses just for the crack, like, and uh, I found them after the match, and they said I get a photo for my mom and dad. So yeah, that's kind of the whole story behind it, really. <laughs>